tell you a little bit about my day. Welcome to my all-time nightmare. This is Nightmare Beach for me. So we decided to come out here to the beach yesterday afternoon. It was really, really hard trying to find a spot to get to out on the beach. Everything is closed. There's no vehicular traffic allowed out there, so it's really hard to find a spot to where we're able to get out there onto the beach. We checked out Port Aransas. We checked out Mustang Island State Park. We checked out the Corpus Christi beaches. Of course, Pins is closed, so there wasn't many options. We had to come down here. This place, I think it's McGee Beach. The name of it's right here. Anyway, so it's like the only public access place that we could get to, and it was crowded. We had a little bit of a rough day yesterday afternoon. We got back, we were kind of tired, and we went and rested, did our thing. I woke up this morning and I was ready to go 110% and get myself into something that was worth actually making a video about. I'm down here getting bait, and I'm gonna tell you all about that in just a moment, but I gotta be really quick. I'm parked in the middle of the road and I see trout busting right over here. So we're gonna take a crack at it and see if we can't get ourselves some trout just before we go do a little shark fishing. God, I have never in my life experienced mosquitoes like that before. I just couldn't do it. I could not sit there and throw that thing. I was getting just, oh, I'm completely eaten alive here. I gotta go get into the surf just to kind of heal my wounds. <laughs> if, if this place doesn't want me to come down here to get bait, their guard mosquitoes convinces me more than anything I've ever had to deal with. This is awful. Okay, wait, he, he's sitting in the window waiting for me. Alright, oh, wait. Coffee. Cannot forget the coffee. If you ever come down here to the coast and you want a good cup of coffee, I highly suggest checking out Stripes. I am a big fan of their coffee over there. And we are back out here at the seawall. We're super early in the morning. It's about 5 o'clock right now conditions are looking pretty good and there's a bunch of mullet sitting right out there that tells me that there is fish out there working on that third sandbar
got a small mouth. I had a stringer full of fish and he came up and took the fish off my stringer. <laughs> well, that was a little bit of a trip. While I'm out there fishing, I've got that skipjack sitting on my stringer and all of a sudden I go to make a cast and I see a second fish on that stringer but it wasn't a second fish and it wasn't a stringer it was a shark going after that skipjack so I did what any good fisherman would do at that point in time I went for the camera <laughs> to try to record the whole thing so I'm trying to get this footage of them all of a sudden that shark ripped that skipjack right off of my uh, right off my stringer. He took the whole damn thing. So I immediately took that bait and put it right out in front of him because he was splashing around and tearing up that skipjack right on the surface. So I put my bait. Luckily, he went for it and I got him, brought him in. And on top of that, he's legal. So he's a keeper. We're going to get to eat that shark up tonight. I really enjoy shark. It's pretty good eating. So I lucked out with that a little bit. Unfortunately, there was a casualty of war. I lost my skipjack and that shark took a pretty good chunk out of my finger here. I haven't washed it off, so I'm not sure how bad that is, but uh, feeling a little bit woozy at the moment. The only thing to fix that is a little bit more fishing. I need to go get this guy wet. Salt water is the best cure for a little cut.